Have you tried connecting a condenser microphone or a dynamic microphone to your sound card, but they do not work? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you the possible setup or connections if you are going to be connecting a condenser microphone, which requires an external 48 volt phantom power. And also, I will be showing you two different kinds of dynamic microphone just to show you that one of them works directly if you connect it to your sound card, while the other one won't work at all. Without further ado, let's get started. And now, let me show you the things I will be needing in the setup. First of all, this is the X50 Live Sound Card. As you can see over here, I do have four different kinds of microphones. Uh, this one here, this is a BM800 condenser microphone. I wanted to show you that if you connect a BM800 condenser microphone to your X50 Live Sound Card, without any question, it should work directly. However, if you connect this other two here, we should have a problem. You have uh, something to connect for them to work. This is a dynamic microphone that, same with a Beam 800 condenser microphone, if we connect this one to your X50 Live sound card, it should work directly. However, this other kind of dynamic microphone, this is, by the way, the Maano PD200X. This is a kind of dynamic microphone that if you connect to your X50 Live sound card, it will not work directly. You have to connect something else to that. And same with this uh, Rode NT1A condenser microphone. It will not work also if you connect this one directly to your X50 Live sound card. And this one here, uh, I'll be showing you whenever I connect them to this uh, devices uh, over here. This is just XLR male to female, and I will need the XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. And this is uh, an external 48 volt phantom power. And this is a fit head. I'll show you when I will be using uh, the fit head. And this is another option. So this is just the TRRS. You can also use TRS. And this one here, this is just a portable speaker. I'll connect this one to this X50 Live sound card. So while I'm doing the testing, you can hear that as well. And also I will be using this uh, USB-C to USB-A. This normally comes when you get this Mono PD 200X. And also I'll be using this uh, portable uh, charger or, or power bank. L I'll show you later when I use it. First, let's do a test using this uh, BM800 condenser microphone. I'm going to show you that it does work if you connect it directly to your X50 Live sound card. So from here, I'm going to connect this mic to maybe mic uh, 2. Soundtrack testing 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So again, I'm currently using the Beam 800 condenser microphone, which uh, works directly if you connect it to your X50 live sound card. If you want to add some reverb, soundtrack testing 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. I cannot really uh, increase my volume because this speaker is so close to me. For sure, I will have a feedback. So I'm just going to set it maybe as like that. And from here, if you want to use, uh, let's say, let's test some some uh, voice changer on here. Testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Soundtrack testing one, two, one, two, three, four. As you notice, it does work uh, without any hassle if you have a VMA internet condenser microphone. And now let's do a test using this kind of dynamic microphone. By the way, this is a Apex 850 dynamic microphone. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to uh, use this kind of cable. So this is XLR to a 3.5 millimeter jack. What I'll do is I'll connect this uh, one end, a 3.5 millimeter jack, to mic 2. And of course, the other end, I will connect to this dynamic microphone. And now I am going to disconnect this Beam 800 condenser microphone so I can test just this kind of dynamic microphone. Soundtrack testing one, two, one, two, three, four. So right now I'm currently using this kind of dynamic microphone. The only thing is I had to increase my mic volume over here because this is not the same as the this Beam 800 condenser microphone, which is more louder or powerful. That's why I had to increase my mic volume over there. If we're going to add some effects or reverb, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four, sound check. Also, if I'm going to maybe uh, use uh, a voice changer again, 
Soundtrack testing one two one two three four. Soundtrack testing one two. Okay, so again, this is uh, using this kind of dynamic microphone. Next, let's do a test using this uh, Mono PD200X uh, dynamic microphone. Let me show you first, let's say if you wanted to, to try like this kind of connection. I will disconnect now this uh, dynamic microphone. I'll connect this one here. Okay, so from here, I'm going to connect this one directly to here and let me show you if it will work. And as you notice, it did not work at all. And now let me show you the easiest way to connect this kind of microphone to your X50 live sound card. So from here, we will not be using this XLR cable. So well, let's unplug this one. And this time we will use this cable. This is 3.5 millimeter TRRS. So the one that has three lines on both ends. This normally comes when you buy this X50 Live sound card. You can also use the TRS, the one that has two lines on both ends. So from here, what we will do is we will connect one end to the mic port of this X50 Live sound card. Let's connect it to mic number one. And the other end, we will connect to the headphone port of this, uh, of this uh, Mono PD200X. Okay, from here, let's try sound check testing one two so still no audio coming out that is because you need to connect one more so for that we will use this uh, cable again this normally comes when you buy a pd200x so from here what i will do is i will connect this uh, usb-c to here to usb-c port of the mono pd200x so usb-c and now the other end we will connect to this power bank or portable charger course make sure it's it's turned on for you to use it it's best if you connect this one to a stand so you don't have to like use something like this soundtrack testing one two one two three four soundtrack and now the audio that you are hearing this is now using this mono pd 200x dynamic microphone it's actually pretty loud if i'm going to add some reverb soundtrack testing one two one two three four sound and let's do a test maybe just one voice changer here sound check this thing one two one two three four okay so again uh, this is uh, the easiest uh, way to connect your pd200x dynamic microphone or if you have something like a usb microphone that has a headphone port the connection should be the same and now let's do a test using this rode nt1a condenser microphone first uh, let me show you connecting this uh, xlr to 3.5 millimeter jack if it will work okay so from here let's connect again this uh, 3.5 millimeter jack to mic 2 and this other end uh, let's connect to this condenser microphone sound check testing one two one two three four as you notice it's not working even if i turn the mic volume here up to the max sound check testing one two it's not working so what we will do is we will need this external 48 volt phantom power first i'm going to just to connect the power source right there and uh, i'm going to connect this xlr male to female so we will connect this one to uh, the input. And now the other end, we will connect to this Rode NT1A condenser microphone. Okay, so there you go. And now from here, so this other end is connected to here already. What we will do is we will connect this one to here, to this external uh, 48 volt phantom power to the one that says out. Again, the connection is from this microphone connected to the input of this external 48 volt phantom power. And then another cable is connected from the out of this external 48 volt phantom power to the mic port of this X50 live uh, sound card. And okay, let me just turn this on. There you go. Okay, I'm going to test again from here. 
sound check testing one two one two three four sound this is actually pretty loud as well it's just that i could not uh, turn my volume very loud because this speaker is so close to me soundtrack testing one two one two three four so again this is a, a setup if you are planning to connect a condenser microphone which requires an external 48 volt phantom power okay let's uh, maybe add a reverb soundtrack testing one two one two three four sound soundtrack and if i'm going to maybe try voice changer again Soundcheck, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, sound check. Okay, let me uh, lower my reverb. Sound check, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. Again, this is the audio. If you will be connecting a condenser microphone, which requires an external 48 volt phantom power. Another way to connect your PD200X to your X50 Live sound card is using an external 48 volt phantom power. And to do that, you will need a fit head. So that looks uh, like this. Now the connection is almost the same. So again, we will still be using this uh, 3.5 millimeter jack to XLR. So again, we will connect it to the mic port of this X50 Live sound card. And now the other end, so again, this is connected to here. The other end, we will connect again to the output of this uh, external 48 volt phantom power. So output, and now we will again use uh, this uh, XLR male to uh, female. So you can either connect this fit head to here directly, something like something like that, or you can also connect this one to here. So to connect this one to here is very simple. So connect this one to here, and now connect uh, this other end to there, and this other end connect it to here. Okay, there you go, and you're all set. Now, uh, as I said, you can either connect your fit head to here or there. So it's, it's up to you. Okay, and now I'm gonna turn on again this uh, 48 volt phantom power. And now let's do a test. Sound check, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four, sound check. And now I am again using the Speedy 200X dynamic microphone, using this external 48 volt phantom power, but with the use of fit head. If you don't use a fit head, it will not uh, it will not work. So again, if you are planning to do this kind of connections, then that's all you have to connect. You need an external 48 volt phantom power plus a fit head. So this one here. Okay, and now let's uh, maybe add a reverb again. Sound check testing one two one two three four sound sound check testing one two and let's try just one. A voice changer. Okay, and uh, now let me uh, show you that it is also possible to use the same setup using this kind of uh, dynamic microphone, the Apex 850. And guess what? If you're going to use the same uh, connections as this PD200X, your audio is actually louder than connecting your dynamic microphone directly to your X50 live sound card. Okay, let me disconnect this one now and I'm going to try this other dynamic microphone. Okay, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four, and now I am using this dynamic microphone, the Apex 850. And what I noticed is it boosts your, your audio level using this kind of uh, dynamic microphone, of course, with a fit head, as well as the 48 volt phantom power. And there you go. So now you know the different ways in connecting your dynamic microphone, as well as this uh, condenser microphone to your X50 live sound card and that is all i can share for today i hope you now have an idea if you try to connect your condenser or dynamic microphone to your sound card specifically this x50 live sound card or you can also try the same way to whatever sound card you have and uh, again if you've tried those and it does if it does not work then use this uh, kind of setup so again you will need a fit head plus an external 48 volt phantom power and uh, this one here uh, the good thing for the mono pd 200x is that using the headphone port from there and connecting this to a power source the one that i showed you earlier you can uh, just use you don't need you don't need a phantom power and also a fit head you just need this one trrs or trs and it works so again it's all up to you uh, whatever you uh, prefer
By the way, if you will be interested in buying this Mono PD200X dynamic microphone from their official website, themono.com, I will be adding a link under the description below as well as the 10% discount code, which is no additional cost to you and it will somehow help this channel. Thanks to Mono for this Mono PD200X dynamic microphone. Also, I want to thank Obsbot for this Obsbot Tail Air. AI 4K streaming camera as I used it to shoot this part of this video. If you want to buy one from their official website, theobsbot.com, I will be adding a link under the description below along with the discount code. Thanks again guys for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing if you haven't done yet and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.